Uh, welcome to a new video where I will show you that even with a mid-range phone like the Honor 70 or any other mid-range phone that has been released in the last two or three years, you can take wonderful photos with the back camera when you are on a vacation or a trip just like I am here right now in the woods. So let's get started. The number one tip is to just take a shot, but not just point and shoot like you usually would do. For example, if you usually take landscape shots, try portrait shots. If you usually just have, hold the camera in your hand, just try a different angle. Try to be different. Try to change your perspective a bit to create a better photo. You can also play around with the exposure and to get a bit of more a gloomy kind of look. The exposure, if you turn it down, helps with shutter speed either getting up or the ISO getting down, which is, gives you a bit of better quality photo, especially on mid-range devices that don't have the best uh, camera sensor in the world. So this is one very, very important thing to do. And always try to find and figure out how you can have a different perspective. Um, you can also try to play around with filters. Yeah, I know not many people like filters, but filters are there in the camera for a reason. And you can use those filters as well. And just like in this leaf, it can create such a good and nice moody kind of picture that just looks very nice and try to change the perspective not only by taking the photo with one lens usually mid-range phones have various different lenses and you can really emphasize your experience by changing maybe the perspective to something super ultra wide for example which is very very helpful indeed sometimes but you can also get some very close-up shots as well try to get depth into your shot by getting very close the best would be getting, like in this shot, a foreground depth and the background depth. This gives like a bit of a cartoonish kind of look, a bit of like a micro kind of look, but it's also very, very pleasant to the eyes. And you can play around with, if you find something like I found this here, uh, you have the possibility to play around with things. Try to zoom in, see how things change there. Try to zoom out, see how you can maybe rearrange stuff and how it will look like in the photo later. So there's so many interesting things that you can do and find, especially when you're exploring the nature, that help you uh, creating very nice shots. Try to get the thing that you want to in the shot without any distractions. Try to find maybe also a filter to get rid of distractions. Try to, yeah, Try to get a mood into the shot, not only taking the shot because you see something interesting. Try to get the mood of like this autumn day here that I had in into the shot somehow. I used the zoom lens in this case, which created a nice like photo. Leaves, yellow, dark, very nice contrast, helps all the time together with the depth of field. Very, very interesting photo that you can achieve. You can also, if you don't find, if you see something interesting, like for example here, a little bit of water, try to get something in foreground that is unsharp to create some kind of yeah, feeling again here of depth, which is very important in your photos that make the photo look interesting. And uh, yeah, don't do too much distractions in the photo. And then of course I also went to a little lake and here you can also do some fantastic shots just like if you have something like food you can try to get it in foreground and get the background there. Try different perspectives here to, to again convey a little bit of convey a little bit of uh, different kind of mood that you had. And of course you can get very close. Turn your phone to the ground sometimes with the cameras touching the ground or almost touching the ground try to get some kind of depth again that makes a very interesting shot indeed
as you can see here. And of course, if you find animals like I did here in a lake, this is the typical shot that you would take if the animals come close, like those swans here. But you can also get a bit lower, get on the eye level or even below the eye level, get on the sea level to get a little bit more spectacular shots and uh, look them into the eye. Just like those, those kinds of shots. We're very, very close to the water or even lower as, as this one here. And I get a very nice shot with different animals even in, in, in the shot. But keep the focus on one animal only. Don't try to photograph many of them. I took this one here with it had like kind of a leaf or something around his neck. You can see it also in the earlier shots where it had something around his neck. Yeah, and I was focusing on this one. So yeah, these are the tips and tricks if you want to have like a very nice indeed shot with a mid-range camera some of those tips and tricks this is now like a short little video where i give you some of the tips and tricks and tell you uh, just try it out it's not about point and just shoot i know those cameras are good and can create with their algorithmic uh, methods very pleasant shots but you can help those algorithms a tremendous tremendously by giving the right thing to focus on like choosing the right thing for the audience to see what you were feeling and what you were seeing in in this shot or on this little trip that you had so this is the most important thing try to convey your feelings and tell a story even if it's just a short story like this one here where I was going through the woods, seeing some things and ended up in at a lake with uh, tons of animals and swans coming and passing by by eating uh, w while eating something nice and sitting at the lake. So what are your tips and your tips and tricks when it comes to photography? And you don't need the highest class new one inch type sensor smartphones or big big expensive cameras a mid-range phone can do the job fine as well if you help it a little bit so write down in the comment section what do you think about um, those tips what kind of tips you have still that can improve photography and that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time, bye.